the logic of, of selfishness is a very short-sighted logic. And so in situations where you have longer-term relationships, it's very much in your interest to be generous and kind. And tell us how you've discovered that. Explain the study you've done. We ran an experiment where we used an online labor market uh, run by Amazon.com to recruit people from all over the world to interact in a situation where they could potentially either be generous or selfish. Um, and it was a situation where you had control over who you interacted with. So uh, in general, so if you were generous, then people would want to interact with you again in the future. And if you were selfish, then people would cut you off. And when people volunteered to take part, how much did they know about what they were volunteering for? Basically nothing. So the people that were signing up, they were signing up with the goal of making money rather than of doing science. Right. So you didn't naturally attract uh, agreeable, kindly people. Is what right. I was exactly. At. Exactly. Uh, and when you when you reached the end of the study, what did you conclude? So what we found is that uh, in a world where you don't have control over who you interact with, either because you always have to interact with the same people or because your social environment is just randomly changing all the time. In those worlds, selfishness wins. But in a world where you have at least some degree of, of control over your interaction partners, then uh, generosity wound up winning out um, because people like to, you know, people like to, to interact, like people like to make connections with generous people and don't like to interact with selfish people. Right. So generosity is a better long term plan. Selfishness might be a better short term plan. Is, is that a fair assessment? Yeah, so it, or it depends. If you're in environments that are dominated by short-term outcomes because you only see people once and then, you know, never again, then selfishness might make sense. But in situations where you have uh, the possibility of repeated interactions, then generosity makes a lot of sense. And the thing is that those are really the, the situations that matter for our life success. We might have some one-off interactions like waiting in the line at the airport or something like that. But the things that really matter for how you do in life are your relationships with your, your coworkers, your friends, your family, these situations that are very much long-term repeated interactions. So, and we're talking here about networks, social networks, but you're not just talking about online social networks, are you? You're talking about a whole array of different social situations. Exactly. So we're using this uh, virtual online social network that we're creating for our experiment as a model to study social interactions more generally.